That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. I want to do mine next before, while well, this is still working, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do it. Uh, my awesome thing is this little drone. It's a Tello drone. It, 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 it says it's got DGI and Intel technology in it. I don't know what that means. It's by a company called Rise, uh, R-Y-Z-E. So uh, this actually was a birthday present from uh, a wife of the show. Uh, and and I've wanted for ages just a small, cheap thing like this um, that I can, you know, learn how to drone, basically. You're not looking for something necessarily to shoot video or anything yet. Just something to get used to doing a drone. And before, you know, I, I don't want to crash a $500 piece of equipment or, you know, like those things get expensive, right? Uh, you know, plus cameras and gimbals on it so this thing is so simple you throw the battery in there at bluetooth it does have a camera and then it controls by your 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 phone you connect over wi-fi so the range isn't going to be that much okay and the video streaming is uh only what you record to the phone over the wi-fi so it's not entirely a lot that you want to do but uh it's pretty nifty um so here we'll just uh go ahead and whoa there it is there it is if you guys are on video <laughs> hanging out and uh it, it works pretty well and uh when you're when you're done with it it'll land right on your hand boop oh dope I love like it. that oh no it's still going i don't know why it's still going there you go uh but anyways <laughs> there that was my demo i uh, was that's my first uh, active drone use here on on the uh show but uh i took it out to the park um last uh thursday when we got a and i've been driving around a little bit like around around the, i love the one lump thing is like this is the kind of drone that was just fine for your house mm. explain that for to your dog uh, <laughs> not happy about it, but it, no, it is kind of nice because it's kind of lightweight, easy to use. Um, it, it it kind of balances itself, and I, I'm guessing like most of the drones don't do that. I did a little bit of video, and then again, this is stuff captured from it. If you watch the video, you'll notice like there's a lot of kind of pixelation as it's getting uh, out there and everything like that, you know, because it's again broadcasting over the Wi-Fi to your phone to record. And this is the uh, this is actually the uh, the ball field up at Banksville. Uh, 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 park uh, so I couldn't go high enough because I knew if I went high enough I could like maybe see downtown buildings and it would not get high enough to do that but pretty good I, I could see the I could see the the roof of my house and how much work I need to have done up there uh, the other day <laughs> but I was also worried about it you know getting it, it, it gets blown pretty easy and like the pretty much the lightest of wind um, and you know things like that landing uh, mechanism um, it's really good just balancing and staying in place because it's got two sensors on the bottom so that's where a lot of that's going you, you probably see that blinking on the on the video there uh, again, it was only about a hundred dollars drone. Um, I think I think she got an extra pack that came with like the three batteries um, and a and a battery pack, or I'm sorry, a battery charger. Otherwise, there's like a USB in the side that you would just plug in. Batteries say say they're rated to last about 13 minutes, so which I think is pretty standard as far as drone use goes. Um, mm. And uh, and the app has a lot of. Um, like it'll do flips, it'll do spin arounds, it'll do a thing where it's uh it's kind of raising and backing off for really cool shots if you want to see something in particular and like do a pull away, uh kind of you know jib kind of shot, um, and uh and 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 other, the other cool thing is it will if you Bluetooth your um like Xbox controller you know we we've got the Xbox controller with the clips for all the gaming we've been talking about Chilla works great for this device, um adds a little bit more of a tactile feel to it. So again, uh, if you're looking for something particularly to do video, I would not recommend this. But if you're like 720 video comes over Wi-Fi, I don't need the highest quality thing. Maybe I just need to look at my roof or something. Takes pictures as well. Those seem pretty clear. Um, this may be the device for you. I think it's a pretty good one to get yourself started on. It's helping me build confidence in drone use at least until you know I, I you know get the big one for the business uh yeah. is the idea so um so so thank you wife of the show for the birthday present that we've been playing with and my dog hates you <laughs> 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 so i guess the tello uh by rise i think it's rise robotics is the company um so it's a pretty cool little thing i'll probably do some more videos and put some more stuff out and if you look on my facebook and my twitter at sorgatron uh that that uh, short video is up there and again that's a video that it, it was taken on the phone i threw it in iMovie slapped something together real quick and then it was out on twitter 
you know, it's cool to be like, hey, let's do a quick thing like this, right? Uh, and if it's 720, as long as you're not getting that thing too far away from you, the video quality is pretty okay. Um, so that's a little little bit of tips tips for between that and like I, I was look, looking at uh, videos online of other people reviewing it and their video looked a lot better and I realized all they were doing was just circling themselves and so it's gonna have the strongest thing. Um, one tip I got if you get a battery pack like for your phone charger battery pack and a Wi-Fi extender you can make it go further but probably not recommended because then if you get too far out of range you can't see things <laughs> so so that was a little little bit of a hack I guess that uh that they had out there I might try that out at some re at some point too so there you go that's my fun fun toy uh so I, I I thought it was cool on their site they're showing, and I'm interested to know how it would work. It, it'll work with a VR headset. So it can be like yeah. you're flying in the drone. So yeah. so I'm not clear if it, if it was supporting flying with VR or if it was um, like you can go back and watch the videos, I thought, in VR. So oh. I think because as the VR like car, you know Google Cardboard thing pops up with, in the video that's recorded, so I don't know. I could be mistaken. Maybe I'm missing a setting in there. Because um, it says fly with breathtaking first person view. Okay. Hmm. You should you should see if if you plug in if you plug in the Android app and throw it on your. Uh... Galaxy VR. I was gonna say I. I <laughs> oh no! Don't make me do that. <laughs> I'm gonna, hey, have you ever seen a man with a VR headset in the middle of a baseball feed vomit? <laughs> you will. You will. Um, but I'm not looking forward to the VR aspect of it. I mean, I don't even look down at the camera for the most part, other than to see what the shot looks like, because I'm not. I guess I don't have that confidence yet. But I don't know. We'll see. Again, well, have you have you seen the people that race? Yeah, yeah, like no, the that's drone, nuts. and they wear they wear the VR goggles, and they're yes. like high speed racing those things around old malls. I mean, yes. it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the dream. This guy, I mean, I mean, I, if we could, hey, they're affordable. If you want to do just a really cheap, you know, throwaway drone racing league, like that's kind of what these are good for. You could buy like ten of these for a thousand bucks and go for it, right? <laughs> So, just burn them out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So it's it's like the demo derby of uh of drones. 